What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, we did have another successful trade here on the channel. So big congratulations to anyone who did get in on it. So of course, in the last two videos, we were talking about the setup for this trade. We saw that the um, price of Solana was getting extended out of our four hour Bollinger Bands. We said that we were going to look for that first right candle, which was our indicator of a big a bit of a pullback here. We saw that flash crash recovery and support establishment on top of our 20 SMA and our 20 EMA. I then said to look for it to clear 180 as that was our 786 and I said I think that could be a great take on of a trade in order to see a possible execution to start with 215 possible finishing at $239. Well what we did see was a moment we saw it clear 180 we are now up about 15% on that trade so big congratulations to anyone who did get in on it. Now it is one that I was waiting for I was looking to take on but I actually am in the process of buying a house right now and we were walking through some houses and I missed it. I actually got a notification on my phone that all of the levels I needed it to clear got cleared, but I was unable to do so as I didn't have the best service. So I had to miss out on it. But any of the any of you who are up on about 15% on that one or who did take profits at our 1.272, which is my general take profit level, unless it smashes through it, then I'll look to take profits at 1.618. But big congratulations to any of you who did get in on that trade. Okay. So with that being said, what are we looking at now? Is it too late to buy? And what can we expect going forward? Well, you guys know that my typical rule is to follow the pattern until the pattern breaks okay so the reason in which we knew that this trade was going to be available or we knew that there was a possibility i don't want to say 100 percent, but we knew that it was a possibility was just because of history right i mean this is the same general trend that we've been following this whole way up and so again we're going to look for it again right i mean we're going to look for this similar trade so what i'm going to talk about is there's two different options right now there's two different buying opportunities that i see at the moment but i do want to make a disclaimer everyone that now at this point, the more you buy, the more risk you're putting yourself at. Now, the reason I say that is because I just want to show you guys your, your uh, Bollinger Bands and I want to show you your RSI. OK, now what we can see is that we have been spending a lot of time overextended, like a significant portion of time. The reason I say that is because typically speaking, again, your Bollinger Bands are going to serve as um, standard deviations, right? So what this top line is, is going to be two standard deviations away from your simple moving average. So what that means is generally, typically, the price will only go about two standard deviations away or this distance away from this simple moving average before retracing back to it and starting to correct itself. OK, so the longer we spend away from it, the more likely it becomes that we're going to see it retrace back to it. Now, we can see this here being enacted all of these times where we would see these similar moves boom, we come up and touch and come up and touch. Eventually, we are going to come back down to retest this bottom, this bottom of the envelope and, you know, see the dan uh, standard deviation to the downside, right? Even if we come back every single time we start to get extended too much, we eventually retrace all the way back down to come back to visit the bottom of our envelope. And if we just keep going down and down and down, you can see another great example, right? We saw the same setups that we're seeing now. Boom, boom, boom boom but eventually we're gonna see that pullback okay it is eventually going to happen when you can never be sure and so you know i don't think trading it and being so scared to buy and everything because we know it'll happen eventually may be the best idea but we do know that we need to be aware of it and not just throwing in money on these big green candles okay that is not a good idea in my non-financial advisor opinion right and so what we're looking at now is we're going to look for the same setup but we're going to be aware of what it will look like if we start to see see it falling okay so the four steps again that we're looking for in order to set up another beautiful trade as we did here and here these have been two perfect trades back to back we got an 11 percent gain here and a 15 percent gain on this one so what we're going to be looking for at the moment is going to be that similar setup okay now it actually looks like this trade may not be finished just yet so the reason I say that is because there are occasional times in which we will see Solana's price execute on that 1.618 after finding some consolidation at the 1.272. So what I would say right now is to watch this bounce here. OK, so you guys do know that I never say 100 percent this is going to happen. I never say it's going to 100 percent go up or 100 percent go down. But what I say is that 100 percent, if it goes up and clears this level, look for it to go this high and 100 percent, if it goes below this level then look for it to go down this low okay because i don't have a crystal ball i can't tell you all exactly what's going to happen but i can have you as well prepared for any situation that arises and i think that's doing you the you know it's the most fair for you all right
right? So what I'm looking for at the moment is if we're able to work our way up to $215 and clear it, get a full good close above it, I think there's a high, high, high possibility we do execute on this 1.618. So if I would say that if you see the price start to work its way back up above 215, setting a stop loss under 215, somewhere right around here, maybe around $208 to limit any loss as much as possible with a small potential trade up to about 240 to 200, I would say take profits level could be about 235. That could be a nice, just small trade, little mini trade, right? Right, little mini trade up here to around say 235 of about seven percent. So again, there's times where when we clear this 1.272 off of this swing high down to this swing low, we'll come up, get a little exhausted, but then boom, we start to work our way back up to execute on that 1.618. So if it does continue upwards, look for that finishing. Look for that finishing of the 1.618. Okay, we have seen that happen a few times here, and so I think it's still within the realm of possibility. We just need to keep an eye on that, and I think setting a stop loss there would make a lot of sense. As again, we are getting into risky territory. Okay, buying <laughs> buying right after we set an all-time high is it's very incredibly risky. Okay, now in terms of downside, you know, in terms of if this thing starts to fall, of course you guys know our steps we've done it two times in a row here on the channel in the last weeks we're going to be looking for the same movements so what we're going to be looking for is going to be a few moves so the few moves that we're going to be looking for first and foremost is going to be the return back to our 20 sma and our 20 ema of course the 20 sma is the orange line that runs in between your two bollinger band envelopes and or in between your bollinger band envelope and it runs between your bollinger bands now your 20 ema is of course going to be this red line that's running right here okay we're on the four hour charts so what I want to see again is the establishment of support here. That's step number one, because typically step number one is going to be the return back into the envelope. Once we get extended out of it, we want to return back in it. But you guys see we got extended. We had a red candle outside of it, which is always or not. I don't want to say always, but a very highly likelihood that we're going to return back into our envelope. That's exactly what we saw. So now instead of that being step one, now next step one is going to be the return to our 20 SMA and our 20 EMA. OK, now next up, what we're going to want to see from there is that we start to work our way back up to clearing some of our 786 levels. Again, so this is going to look real similar. It's going to look really, really similar to what we've been doing. And that's just because, again, we trade this pattern until it breaks. So what we're doing is we're looking at this. So say the price comes down and we see a support establishment, maybe a little wick below, but we get a full good close and open above this. Right. What I'm then doing is I'm drawing a Fibonacci from our swing high down to this swing low and my current game plan of course so what we've been doing is that we are not going to remotely consider buying until we clear this 786 until the 786 gets cleared and we have the belief that we're going to execute on a 1.272 up at 226 right now um on this uh, on this example if the price was to perfectly go here which it wouldn't of course this is what we're looking for boom we go back up here, we get a close, we get an open. That would be great. If we just get a close and it's continuing upwards, we could take on that trade. I would wait to see if it can at least clear that high on that single candle before believing it goes up here. Okay. But the, set, the setup's all the same. The setup is, again, all the same. Do pay attention to, though, we're, over, we're overbought. We're overbought on everything. We're overbought on the dailies. We're overbought on the four hours. We're extremely overbought on the dailies. So will this trade fulfill? Will it come true and, you know, do this exactly again like it has this last couple of times that we've been taking advantage of it? I don't know, right? But it is one that we need to keep an eye on because people who just say, oh, it's setting all-time highs, don't buy. They're not, that's not necessarily true, right? There are ways in which we can be buying on this thing's way up to go to the top while limiting risk as much as we possibly can now for any of these things where i say this is a good trade if you were not you know short-term trading but increasing long-term buying opportunities or increasing your long-term um portfolio using these buying opportunities for these trades to dollar cost average in also makes a lot of sense right if you dollar cost at average in hint here and here i mean say if you bought here and you just held it i mean you're still you're up about 50 percent, right so these short-term trade opportunities still do also act as our um long-term position increases as well right so which one whichever one you're doing it can serve as both so what i'm just going to say is that it is beginning more and more and more risky is it too late to buy no is it getting too late to buy probably so again we talked about that um we talked about that back here right is that the more we keep getting extended our daily bollinger band is way extended that first red day that we have could start to send us back down okay so we just need to pay attention we just need to watch this thing and start to expect that it's going to need to cool down at some point 
And when that happens, this pattern that we've been trading may break. And so from there, we're going to have to find something new and we're going to have to find something better to execute on. So with that being said, I will keep you guys as up to date as I possibly can. Again, do remember, we are looking to see that this thing comes back down to interact with the 20 SMA and the 20 EMA, find some support and boom, once we see that green way on the way back up, we're simply just looking for it to clear that 786 and we're looking for an execution to the 1.272 Fibonacci extension level. Now remember, if the price does go up to clear 215, there's a high likelihood it goes up to about 230 to 235. So if you wanted to set a stop loss, maybe around $200 while trying to execute on that $230 take profit level, that could also be another little small 7% fantastic trade on top of the 15% trade in which we did just receive. So with that being said, again, I will update you guys as soon as possible. I have been incredibly busy the last few days and I'm going to be even more busy in the next coming days. So with that, I'm going to try to do my best. I do put all this information in the Patreon and I answer as many questions as I can in there. So it could be worth checking that out as well. But with that being said, I will see you all very soon in the next video and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.